Let's go to our top story. The Supreme Court handed down an historic decision this morning ruling unanimously that the First Amendment does not apply to Tom Becker of Phoenix, Arizona. For more now, we're joined by Onion News Network Washington correspondent Jane Carmichael. Jane, obviously an unprecedented decision here. Take us through the timeline. Well, uh, the class action lawsuit was brought before a Ninth Circuit judge by a coalition of Mr. Becker's co-workers, neighbors and family members who said his continued right to free speech was causing them emotional distress. Mm -hmm. They presented several videotapes of Mr. Becker to the court as evidence. Well, let's take a look at those now. I had to wait at the airport for six hours. Do you understand? This is back when I'm running my real estate business, so every minute I'm there, I'm losing deals. Oh, yeah. I'm a huge motorcycle guy. When old sports get in your lungs, you're dead. That's why I always say I will never live in a house with carpeting. Uh, now, Mr. Becker himself testified before the Supreme Court yesterday, right? Yes, and according to sources close to the court, that was really what solidified the court's decision. Mr. Becker delivered a rambling three-hour testimony in which he digressed into a pointless 45-minute story about moving a washing machine by himself, his opinion that organic food is a rip-off, and multiple remarks about the Supreme Court's chambers not being as, quote, classy-looking as he assumed they'd be. He said, said several times that he had stayed in hotels in Las Vegas that were way nicer. Yeah. Following that, the decision to remove Mr. Becker's First Amendment right took only about a minute and a half. In his majority opinion, Chief Justice Roberts wrote, the only feasible options facing this court are to revoke Mr. Becker's right to free speech or legalize murder so we can beat him to death with our gavels right now. Totally understandable. And then they went with that first option. They yeah. did. That's right. And Mr. Mm -hmm. Becker may now legally speak aloud only after writing down what he wants to say and having it approved by an independent arbiter. All right, Jane Carmichael, thank you for the update. And keep your head up. You're doing a really, really great job out there. Uh, thank you, Brooke. Analysts expect this ruling could be the first step towards a nationwide requirement that Americans undergo a five-day waiting period before uttering an opinion of any kind.